ए सो हेलो हाई गाइज हाई गाइज एन एच बी नाइल बिफोर डन एनी ऑडियो और वीडियो बट आई वॉन्टेड टू टू डू सम शॉर्ट सिंक्रिटिजम अबाउट द सेवन डेज ऑफ द वीक द सेवन डेज सेवन डेज ऑफ ऑफ द वीक yeah so i uh, so just some short syncretism um mm, so uh you can so this seven days of the week mm, we got them from the seven luminaries when you follow the geocentric model of the cosmos the geo geocentric model so in the geocentric model uh the first the outermost luminary the, the geocentric model is where we have uh, the earth in the middle and then we have the other rings the, the other rings surrounding so this is the this is the earth r so these are the rings are the other luminaries so in this model the outer so we have seven rings so that is here and then 1 and 7 so these are the seven rings so in order the outermost ring it is uh, saturn and then followed by jupiter so that is out, outward going inside so the next one is jupiter and then we have mars and then we have uh, the sun and then we have uh, venus and then we have mercury and then after mercury we have the moon so these are the seven luminaries um we have one we have the se- outermost seven six five four three Two, one. So this is the order. Mm, so, so this is so the Saturn is the outermost ring. Saturn. Then Jupiter. And then uh, Mars. And then the Sun. And then uh, Venus. and then mercury and then the moon so saturn is the outermost ring that's why also saturn uh, is drawn with a ring the planet saturn does like a ring like this so this is the saturn is the lord of the rings it is the outermost one the lord of the rings the lord of the now um now the out the, in the okay so now let's go to the seven days of the week we have seven luminaries and then we go let's do the seven days of the week so uh, let me put this here so um now we have um let's draw an any let's draw a, a septagram so septagram goes like this also if actually before i continue i got this from santos bonacci so uh, you can see all, you can also see the seven days of the week in this order but you see like you you have to skip four so saturn is the saturday and then um sun 
the sun is the Sunday. <clears throat> so Saturday, Sunday. You see, I've skipped for one, two, three, four, Sunday. And then Monday, one, two, three, four. Moon day is Monday. And then you skip four again. One, two, three, four. Mars is Tuesday. Skip for one, two, three, four. Mercury is Wednesday. And then one, two, three, four. Jupiter is Thursday. And then one, two, three, four. And then Venus is Friday. So some of them have Nordic names from the Norse mythology. And then some of them have the conventional um, Hebrew names. I think it is Phoenician names. So from here, let me let me just write the, the Nordic names. So Saturn. Um, well, Saturn is straightforward. Mm, Saturn is straightforward. So Saturn Saturday. Saturn is Saturday. So Ju um, Jupiter, it is the day. In, it is in North mythology. Mythology. It is attributed to Thor. So we have four fourth day is Jupiter, which is Thursday. And then we go to Mars, which is attributed to the Norse mythology god of war, who is Tyre. So it is Tyre's day. So that is Tuesday. And then we go to Sunday. Sunday is straightforward. Sun. The sun is Sunday. Uh, Venus. Venus is attributed to Aphrodite or um, or Freya. In Norse mythology, it is Freya. Freya's day. So Venus it is Freya. You remember the Ice Princess? Mm, Freya. Freya's day. Uh, that is Friday. And then uh, Mercury. Mercury is attributed to Odin. Odin. So it is it was Woden. Woden's day. And the moon is Monday. Odin is the father of Thor. So the moon is Monday. So Monday. So you can see the, the same order of skipping, skipping four. So from Saturday, Saturday should be the first day of the week. So from Saturday, you skip four. Saturday, one, two, three, four, you get Sunday. Skip four again. One, two, three, four, you get Monday. Skip four again. One, two, three, four, you get Tuesday. One, two, three, four, Wednesday, Wednesday. One, two, three, four, Thursday, Thursday. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, four, Freya. That is Friday. So let us draw um, a septagram so that you see how uh, this thing ties in all together. Mm -hmm. So let's draw a septagram. A septagram is a seven sided polygon. So we can have something like this. So this is a seven-sided uh, polygon. So you can fit in the seven days of the week. So here we have Saturn. Saturn. And then we go to uh, go to the Sunday. Sunday. And then we go to to the moon day. Monday, moon. And then we go to uh, we've said uh, um, we go to mm, oh no no we go from uh, from no we go uh, Saturn and then this this is the order one two like we go clockwise Saturday Sunday Monday Monday and then Tuesday uh, which is Mars Tuesday Mars. And then Wednesday is Mercury. So Mercury. And then uh, Thursday is Jupiter. 
and then Venus prayer. So you can see the same order of skipping four. So Saturday you skip four. So Saturday you go one, two, three, four. Sunday. And then you skip four. One, two, three, four. Monday. And then you skip four. One, two, three, four. Tuesday. Then you skip four. One, two, three, four. Wednesday. And then you skip four. One, two, three, four. Thursday. Then you skip four. One, two, three, four. You end up at Venus. Who is Freya? Friday. Then you skip four. One. From Venus you skip four. One, two, three, four. You go back to Saturday. So Saturday is the first day. First day, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven. No. So um the seven days of the week are were, were got from the seven luminaries in the geocentric model. Where Earth is in the middle, like you are the you are the point of creation, you are the center of creation. You get these seven days. Of which uh, you can get it from the septagram, of which I've shown you which the seven days uh Saturn Saturn, Saturn is Saturn Saturday. Jupiter is Thursday. Mars is Tyre's day. The sun is Sunday. Venus is Freya, Friday. Mercury. Mercury. Mercury is Odin's day. Odin's day. The moon. Monday. And this is the order. So, <clears throat> from here, I wanted to show you something else. I wanted to show you how we get... We have a trinity. There is a trinity in all mythology. There is always a trinity. And uh, this trinity... Uh, is also done by skipping four. So from from Saturn day, from Saturn, you skip four. One. So Saturn is the first. Is the father. So you skip four. One, two, three, four. This is the next one. Sun is the, the sun is in the middle, and then one, two, three, four, and then you get the moon. So this this trinity. Saturn, Sun, and Moon. Uh, these luminaries they they affect us in a lot of ways, and uh, you can see this trinity in all of mythology. In every mythology, there is always a trinity, you know, like the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And um, so the Holy Spirit, like, is the female part of the of the story, because you have Father and Son, and now the Holy Spirit. So uh, in this trinity, we have circled. Saturn, the sun, and the moon. You no, know? so we have the Saturn, sun, and moon. So these three, they they work interchangeably. They are intertwined. These three are intertwined. Mm, these luminaries they act like a projector mm, so uh, for instance you can see the name this country called Israel Israel so in Israel you have three words you can divide it into three so we have Isis Ra and El. Ra is the sun. El is Saturn. And then I see this is the moon. You see? This is the Trinity. And then we go to another name, a word of the name Solomon. So here's another trinity. 
the soul is the sun like you, know, you can have solar you know, like the name solar so that the, the soul is the sun moon is the moon now we have o l so the temple of the temple of solomon is your body you can draw a body here the temple of solomon is the human body the human body and in the middle of the body you can divide it into three places the head is there this is the head the head is heaven the head is heaven and the heart the heart If you rearrange these words, you get the word earth. And the heel, the heel is hell. So you can you also have this trinity, head, heaven, and earth. Uh, heaven, earth, and hell. So uh to continue uh in this trinity isis this is what in the bible you can say was the holy spirit or the mary magdalene uh, the son it was jesus the son of god and satan was is satan 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 the son is the son of god and this is the spirit the holy spirit or you know like the feminine part of the story you know like how you had mary magdalene was uh, like a concubine or a friend to jesus so um, to continue i wanted to cover something else mm -hmm. yeah, yeah so if i can draw the um, oh in this in this in this setup uh, we are in the mid plane in the geocentric setup we're in the heart or the earth so the way out the way out of this realm is through the heart like you be true to yourself when you're true to yourself is the only way to to ascend it's the only way to ascend to ascend this you know like how we have seven chakras Like how we have seven chakras. This is not should not be there. We have seven chakras. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the way to ascend is to be true to yourself through the heart. And um, let me continue from there. Yeah. So these luminaries. They act like uh, they act interchangeably. Uh, this sun, L and moon, this moon, sun and Saturn, they work interchangeably like celestial mechanics to project our reality down here. So even mainstream science, uh, they say like uh, we live in a two-dimensional black hole. And uh, the way the, the ancients used to interpret it, uh, instead of saying a black hole, it was like a disk. So it's like you have a disk here, and it a disk, you know, it has like a hole. And over here is the projector, the source projector. So these are the luminaries over here. So let me draw the model. So um, here is the earth down below here. The geocentric model we have the earth here this is the earth and the next one is is the moon is the moon and then you have mercury 
We have a marker here. And then we have Venus. And then we have the Sun. And then we have Mars. And then we have Jupiter. And then we have Saturn. So this this system is in it is enclosed with the crystalline. This is the crystalline sky or the firmament. Crystalline sky or the firmament. And this is the domain of, of Uranus. This is the domain of the sky the sky god. And uh, in Greek mythology, they had a being called uh, Shu and Gabe and Nut. And then there was Gabe. There was the one who was holding the sky. He was holding the sky. With his hands. Or uh, their hands. Nut and Gabe. There was somebody who was holding the sky like this. And then this was somebody else who had... Like, if you can see the Greek mythology, these are the limbs. Somebody who had stretched like this. This is somebody, they, they used to illustrate it like this. So there was not, those, uh, there was this, the earth god. Uh, there was the earth god who was lying down. And then there was somebody who was holding the, the sky from falling. So in this system, I think it was either it was shoe, nut, or ge and gab. I can't remember who was who was playing which role. So in this system, um, this it works like a projector. So this uh, Saturn, it's projecting. It's projecting light to the Earth plane. This is the project. So here we are here, but the source pro the source is, is here. So these luminaries they act interchangeably, and they work in combinations. So the like when let's say you are born uh, on a certain um, date, like on uh, on March. So on March, you can see uh, there was a certain constellation in the sky, and Saturn was was in was in a certain constellation, like in Libra or Gemini or whatever. So uh, you can uh, a shaman in the ancient past, a shaman could tell like how your body um, could tell you about your body, could uh, give you advice on how you. On how you could live let, let's say when you are knocked out of balance when you are suffering this is depending on the arrangement in the sky so they, they work this thing they work, this luminaries they work like a projector in combination so saturn is the lord of the rings which is up here projecting everything and uh, it is the last luminary it is the moon so that so that's why they say the saturn moon matrix so um even in the in the past, they used to say like uh, when your soul is transiting, when it is leaving this domain, the earth realm, you must go. Uh, you see this the earth realm. This is the disc. And now in the middle here we have a pole. We have a pole called the North Pole. It's actually a pole. This is the North Pole in the center. So when your soul is is going, it is ascending. To live here and go to, to ride the jet stream the jet stream towards the north pole 
and then it ascends. You start ascending. You see? So, uh, depending on on how true you lived your life here on this plane, it depends on, it will depend on how you'll transit these other realms. So when you ascend the North Pole, it's like an elevator. You, you, your soul will ride the jet stream, goes to the North Pole, where well, there is Mount Meru, and then it ascends to the North Pole like an elevator. And when you ascend, you know these realms, they are, they are divided by firmaments. There are firmaments over here. So in order for you to ascend to reach the highest, the, the, you go through the sun. You know, this is where many people want to go through. The sun is there. Is the mid plane. Is the portal. It is the connecting portal. This portal. The vortex. And this solar. You know these things, they work like a vortex. So you can draw like a vortex here. This snake. You know the way they say the snake or the dragon. The serpent uh, it works like a vortex connecting this uh, mid plane to the higher realms the sun is the doorway which is in the middle here so many people when they when they ascend through the north pole they want to go through the sun so that they can, their soul can go through the the, the 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 natural the natural cycle but uh, that's what everybody wants everybody wants to be with, with jesus the sun and uh, you know how Jesus said, one of you, when they told the thieves, one of you will be with me in paradise. So everybody wants to, to go through the sun, but it's not easy. But you can, if you, depending on how true you lived your, your life here on earth, on the mid plane. So, um, yeah, you're, 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 you're going through the jet stream, and um, Saturn, Saturn has a... Saturn has a rotation, a rotation period of 29 years. 29 years. To, in order for it to make its return. You know, they, they, can, you say, they say it's a Saturn return. And the moon, this plane here, it has a rotation period of 29 days. So, uh, in short, this projector, it, it, you can break it down with, Saturn is the source and the moon is the screen. The moon is the hole, the last hole, and then uh, our earth here is a screen. Our earth here is a screen. So you can say you're like a hologram. You're being projected like a hol hologram. You're, you're here on earth like a hologram. And these other luminaries, they add uh, each attribute in this, in this, in this matrix. And it's like a video game. You're in a playing field, you're in a playing ground here. These other luminaries, they add more attributes to make uh, they work in they work in synchrony to make this uh, experience on the earth plane more realistic. And uh, when you the more you the more you practice righteous living in your body, the more you activate your these portals. And the more you activate them, for you to experience a better version of of the video game, a better version of the life of your life. You can access it because it is stored in it is stored in this server, this computer. But in order for you to access a better version of your life, you must be true to yourself. You must live through the heart, which is the the earth. Here on the mid plane, you must live with the you must trust your instincts, follow your instincts. Be kind to us. Uh, be kind. Uh, like I don't like. I'm not saying you be kind. Just trust your instincts and be true to yourself. In order for you to access the head, the heaven, you must live through the earth, the heart. Or, or else you'll descend to the lower vibrations. You'll start, survive, you start living on survival mode, flight, fight or flight, which is the hell. The hell, hell. But when you activate your, your chakras, uh, you will access the, the heaven, the head. Uh, so this... Um, Thing you can break it down. Uh, this projector, you know, they say the pyramids are built from the top down. This is the same pyramid. This is the actual. This is the real pyramid, of which uh, we should follow. You know, not this other materialistic pyramid scheme. Uh, um, this is the main spirituality which we should follow. 
you really practice righteous living so that you ascend through the uh, this these levels so um, uh, i wanted to touch on something else so actually when you're in, on the earth plane you are the center you're on earth you're the you are the center of uh, creation so this is you here yeah uh, these are ripples you can see these other things are um, these other rings are ripples you've seen cymatic patterns you know like how when you put sand on a plate and then you vibrate the plate you see some patterns some disturbances so this is you and uh, these uh, ripples and you can say like the seven colors of the rainbow these are the seven colors of the rainbow and uh, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. so when you observe something when you inter- when you're in the earth plane when you interact with something you are collapsing these waves these are perturbations and uh, when you like you're throwing a when you throw a rock in the water it causes ripples so your life here you're, you're just a you're, you're a disturbance in the in the ether and when you interact with something you are collapsing the wave function so that you can touch it you know so this uh, this this uh, this this thing is quite it's an, ad, it's an advanced experience so i'm just using normal words to describe the how this computer works so when you're interacting with something you're collapsing what science says you're collapsing the wave function you're collapsing all these waves so that you can touch it you see because you are here this thing works in the large scale the macro level and in the micro level and uh, uh, all this it exists in the waters the playing field what science calls uh, space time this exists in the ether the ether this is what the bible is calling the waters is the uh, waters the waters so you 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 are basically you since you are connected with source where you are interacting with uh, in the video game in this game you are collapsing this wave function so that you can you can uh, you can interact with people so simply put in order for you to change uh, how you view the world you must change your in order for you to change your perception or how, how you observe things depends on your perception you can say something is bad just because uh, inside you are feeling you are not feeling okay so uh, perception is subjective so you can see something uh, you can see you can see something is good because maybe your immune system is okay so when you have a when you have a good immune system inside immune system it will, it will affect your ego so these two go hand in hand when you have a good immune system to change your ego your ego is a reflection of your immune system so if inside you're feeling okay inside your organs are good you're healthy you're wealthy you don't have stress it will change how you view outside so as 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 within so without if you have a good immune system and you have and you have mental stability your mental health is okay it will change affect your ego so you can affect this you can affect these ripples just by how you feel inside and uh, the best way to feel uh, to be in balance inside is to just uh, be true to yourself again live through the heart trust your instincts and it will change how you view the world outside So this is a projector, the source projector which is the Lord of the Rings Saturn projecting and here on the earth plane is where the game goes down. And in order for you to, when you when you complete your side quests and your true quest you go to the you ride the jet stream to the north pole and you ascend like an elevator. Many people want to go through the sun through Jesus but it's not easy. So some people get lost in this web. Mm. and so the normal cycle is to go through the sun and then go through all these other luminaries and then saturn 
uh, projects you back again through the moon here. Those who want, maybe they say reincarnation and stuff. Maybe when you have not completed your your main quest in the game, in the game here, in this disc game. So this disc is what uh, mainstream science says that we live in a two-dimensional black hole. You know, a black hole has an accretion disc. And then here in the center is where the event horizon is. So mainstream science is... Uh, mainstream science is like throwing us off the target. It's making things more, so more complicated. It's materialistic. But the earth plane, um, the disc is the earth plane where we are. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the server, the game is stored in the server, counter space. And it's being projected here through the moon uh, by Saturn. It is being projected through the moon and you experience the reality here on Earth. And in order for you to access the higher versions of yourself is by practicing uh, righteous living, living through the heart here on Earth. Uh, do some stuff, some stuff like grounding and everything, you know. So when you look at this uh, projector, it looks like a Christmas tree. You see, and uh, this this is the this is the what the ancients are saying. When when you are projected down here through the moon, you know the moon is the last the last uh, plane before you come here. So when you are projected through the moon, who is Isis? Is what they they, call, they say uh, the whole of Babylon. You know I've told you you have a fem feminine aspect in this trio. It is the whole of Babylon because. Many souls pass through the moon when they come here, you know, when they say you have a honeymoon. After a wedding or during a, the night during the wedding, go to a honeymoon. So that souls can choose to, when your parents meet, is where souls choose to drop here. So that's why the moon, the feminine, uh, sometimes is called a hoe. The hoe of Babylon, because many souls pass through the moon. Also in a, in a traditional setting, we say like the womb, the womb produces uh, all sorts of characters. The womb will, will, will sprout, will spawn so many characters in this video game. Yeah? You can see a family of six children. Uh, others are doctors, others are engineers, others are preachers, others are thieves. The same, same family. So the moon is the whole because it brings forth many characters in, the, in this earth plane. So it's not like a bad name, you know, and uh, Saturn, uh, Jesus, the sun is Jesus and Saturn is Saturn, the projector. And um, that's why uh, also um, we say like we have Isis, Osiris and Horus. Horus is Ra, uh, Osiris, El, Isis, the moon, the trio, there's always a trio. Norse mythology, uh, we had um, Odin. I don't know on the other ones, you know. There was also in Greek mythology you had Zeus, um, Kronos, who is Saturn. Zeus is uh, Jupiter, you know Zeus. So we had in, Kronos, in Greek mythology you had Kronos and Zeus and Poseidon. Oh, no, no, we ha um, Norse mythology had Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. No, so uh, this is Zeus, you can say like Jesus, Jesus, you know, Zeus, Jesus, the same. Uh, but um, uh, the Zeus are Trinity. Uh, but. Um, uh, I wanted to say something. Oh yeah, so that's why the moon is the Ho of Babylon, which brings forth many characters in this video game. You know? And um, so this this thing is like a Christmas tree, when you see. And in this Christmas tree, so you've come down from, from the projector, you've been projected here. So the act of Christmas um you can see we are celebrating the birthdays of of jesus we are celebrating the birthday of jesus and the story of jesus goes like jesus came down to earth uh jesus descended on earth 
on the earth plane and then he died and then he ascended you know and uh, the same thing like santa claus for the christmas he goes down a chimney and leaves some gifts and then he goes back up the chimney so this is the story of your life you came here on this earth plane to experience the material you know this is what they they call the original sin the original sin is the original sin is when a light body a light body descends to occupy a material to occupy material flesh this is the original scene when a light body descends to occupy a material flesh so scene is like uh, you know like in mathematics you have a sine wave sine wave because this is the original this projector it operates in physics this is ele- which is electricity and magnetism electromagnetic fields these are all electromagnetic fields which are creating this reality here so this electromagnetic field they have a wave which is a sine wave so when a light body descends to occupy material flesh in this earth plane so when it's this is a scene here in scene basically the sine wave when i draw a sine wave or an electromagnetic wave electro magnetic electromagnetic wave because it has both uh, amplitude and wavelength so we have some like this and it has also this the like going like this then we have this something like this so does we have this and also we have this so we have electricity and magnetism electromagnetic wave the sine wave some also draw it like uh, you know in two, in two dimensions you have something like this just simply put you know something like this and in order to create in order to create um, a pattern in this earth plane you must form a standing wave you know a standing wave a standing wave is when you have the source here and another wall here so when this wave goes like this it will go and then it will start bouncing and then it will come back so when they come back they'll start harmonizing so that there won't be any interference pattern and then they will they will form a standing wave standing wave each and every object you see in this realm it is operate it is it is it is uh, it is under standing wave in order for you to interact with any object in this earth plane it has formed a standing wave so that you can that's why you can observe it you have collapsed the wave function so that you can observe it you know so when you can i can study you can see videos about cymatics it is where light you can you visualize sound patterns cymatics the visualization of sound patterns those patterns when you the form as the form of the standing wave has formed so this is the original scene the sine wave so this is where you can you get the the square and compass the masonic square and compass it goes uh, something like this no yeah. this, this is like a standing wave if you continue like this it will form a wave you know crest and tough crest and tough you know crest stuff 
crests and troughs. So you get the square and compass, you know, because they're on the earth plane, everything here is electromagnetic. And the work of the purpose of the religion, unfortunately, it is to make you don't understand this. That is the purpose of religion. The purpose of religion is to throw you off the sand that everything down here is about electromagnetism. Electricity. Electricity and magnetism. You know, is the electricity L. Mm. Magnet. Ma magnet. So, you know, L, net. So, um, you know, there's always that relationship, father and son. So, this is the father, this is the son. That's why Jesus was teaching people to be fishers of men. Fishers of men. And uh, you fish people using a net, you know, the magnet. And you understand this knowledge, it's when you understand how to fish you become a fisher of men this knowledge about magnetism the net also they say internet it's like a, a net www is a www www so and this is the original matrix this 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 which we are in right now but um, you know humans we are creative and some people can use that creativity to to create another matrix the digital matrix of the internet you know, that's why people are going through uh, you know, start uh, download they say you can will download your consciousness into another computer so <laughs> it's like you're already in this computer and then you go to a lesser <laughs> another another small computer it's like you're playing a high resolution game right now and then you choose to go to a very 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 low resolution game you know <laughs> that's uh, the metaverse is just another net a synthetic net, a digital net made by man. But this one was made, I don't know who made who created this game, but we chose to participate in it. I think we are also co-creators of this game. We are also co-creators of this video game. When you choose to change your perception, you can change our surrounding. When you change our within, we can change our without. We are co-creating this game. It might be a simulation, to see how the game goes but you know, nobody knows so yeah um the sign with this the original scene is choosing to occupy a material body which is in it it works under a sign if it is it is it is restricted by uh the rules of this video game the material body and that's why you can you, when you do some things you can die you know when you go across a road uh, blindly a car will hit you and you're not you're not Superman, you know. You can, you can, you can, you can die easily. Uh, and uh, for you, in order for you to experience, uh, to unlock, you know, I mean, in FIFA, when you're playing video games like FIFA, unlocking packs in the video game, in order for you to access these higher packs, you must choose to live righteously, so that you unlock this, you unlock these chakras until you reach the crown, you know, crown. Is the crown chakra crown up up there crown it's like crown or Cronus Saturn Cronus when you choose when you unlock this 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 pot this uh, chakras they're like portals they're they're like rings no? they're they're like rings. One, two, three, one, two, three. And this one is the Lord of the Rings, Saturn. When you unlock all this, you become the key. You know, they say Christ is the key. So there are, there are things you can do to, there are things you can do to unlock these things so that you become the, the crown, you reach the crown, the Lord of the Rings. Some practices like semen retention for men and, um, just be, uh, just be true to yourself. Live in the truth, and uh, you just unlock these rings. 
until you reach the, the Lord of the Rings, you reach heaven. So this is this is where they say your spine, your spine, your spine, your spine has thirty three vertebrae. Your spine has thirty three vertebrae, and this energy, you know, this energy it has coiled itself through these rings like a serpent. This serpent is what they call the Kundalini. This serpent is the Kundalini. So this energy goes from here to here and then back up, up again. It is renewed. So when you when you live in the truth, when you practice righteous living, some things like semen retention, just being true to yourself. There is a fluid which is secreted from the brain and it travels down the 33 vertebrae. And when you know, your body is like a reactor, a nuclear reactor. Mm -hmm. In a nuclear reactor, it's where you form new elements. Even you can ask a scientist. You get new elements from a, from nuclear reaction. So this this fluid, which is produced by the body, the nu the, the reactor. You know when you rearrange when you reactor, you get create. No, and this thing works like a vortex, a tornado vortex. No, tornado. You see that tornado. Mm. Taurus field. So this thing it works like a, a react a Taurus field. So you're a creator creating. So you secrete this fluid, goes down the thirty three vertebrae. When it comes back up, it is a pure version, a pure version of what was what was down here. So these things. This fluid is like it looks like milk and it's like it's gold like it's like honey, you know. If it comes down white, it will comes down white like milk. Milk. But when it comes back up it's like gold. Gold or honey. So this is the land of milk and honey. When the fluid goes down and comes back, when you choose to practice righteous living. It's like you have a, it's like you are, when the Israelites, you know, this is Solomon's temple. It's when the Israelites chose to abandon Egypt and go to the land of milk, milk and honey. So they left Egypt and went to, to Canaan, the land of milk and honey. So when you choose to practice righteous living, these energies will go, will start increasing, you know. It's like a Russian doll. So these energies will increase, and when it reaches here, you experience an epiphany. It's like this serpent has unwound itself. It's like a, a snake. The snake has shed its skin. So you grow. You grow to the outer ring. And when you do that again, after another cycle has passed, another cycle has passed, uh, and you've practiced righteous living, you grow to, and the snake sheds its skin, you grow to, another um, it become a new creature you know so it's good to practice righteous living and um, uh, it will involve letting go you know this thing it involves letting go of the bad habits the habits which are holding you back that's why santa when he comes down the chimney he lets go of the gifts and then he comes back later jesus when he came here he he died for the sins. He left the sins here and then he went back. The same thing you are doing here. It's like, it's like when you're boarding a plane, the pilot or the zeppelin, you remember the airships? In order for the zeppelin to reach the higher, you know, these things, it operates in densities. And the zeppelin had lighter than air gases. Helium is lighter than air, so that's why the zeppelin could ascend through the atmosphere. So, but when the passengers, or when you're boarding a plane, you are given a carrying capacity, baggages. In order for you to grow, you must let go of the baggages, and you board the plane, so that the plane can ascend. So, as, uh, going, going will, will involve letting go, letting go of some things. That's why people have New Year's resolution and stuff. So, this is, the, this, this is what the original Christmas tree was, the original pyramid. 
the original spirituality. This is how it looks like. And when you look at these discs from above, you know, they look like cymatic patterns. Mm, they look like cymatic patterns. Mm. And uh, astrologers know about these things. You know? They know like uh, the head, uh, you know, that we, have, we have 12 constellations. You know, how the sun, when the sun is rolling, uh, you know, I've, I've told you this, these three things, they work interchangeably. Saturn, sun, and moon, they work interchangeably. Sometimes Saturn is the ruling. Saturn becomes the, <laughs> there was a time which Saturn was our sun. You know, Saturn was our sun. And, this, and now, right now, this, the, the sun we know, the yellow sun is our main source of light. But there was a time it was Saturn. And uh, astro when, when, when the sun is rolling, the sun has 12 followers. Jesus had 12 disciples. And the sun has 12 signs of the zodiac. Yeah. So, astrologers know how our body is divided. The head, has, the head is the ram, Aries. The ram or Aries. And then you go to Taurus, then you, you go down, I think uh, the kidney, the, they are the scales which are Libra. This is Santos Bonaggi's knowledge. And you go down, you know. So right now when the sun is rolling, um, we, are, it, we are following the system of 12, you know. So, yeah. So uh, even when you want to, uh, those guys want to make a med bed, you know, like those scientific, the futuristic beds. You just enter, it scans you, and uh, it tells you what's wrong. You cannot do that without this knowledge of astrology. You must understand how, when somebody was born, which was the ruling sign, when Saturn was there, it was in which sign, when the sun was in which sign, hmm? Jupiter was in which sign, and they are all connected to the organs, the kidneys, the stomach, the heart. So... In the past, a shaman was the one who could advise us on what to do during which cycle. So yeah, there's that. And another thing, uh, these seven days, uh, Saturday, Saturday, these seven, six, seven luminary seven days, seven colors of the rainbow, seven days of the week, um, 24, seven days, you know. They also they were also influencing the alchemical metals on this realm. So we had Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, the Sun, Earth, um, Venus. No, no, the Sun, Venus, Mercury. And the moon, and then you have the earth. So seven, six, five, four. There you have. So these uh, seven luminaries, they were also intertwined with alchemical metals. So Saturn was lead, Jupiter was tin. I remember growing up, I used to watch a cartoon called Tin Tin. So the mass is iron, iron fists, iron, iron, iron. All warmongers, you fight with iron tools. The sun is gold, obviously, color gold. Vina is copper. Mercury, uh, mercury is mercury. <laughs> Quicksilver. Mercury or Quicksilver. The moon is silver. So, these are the seven alchemical metals, and in order for you to, in order for you to move when you're, when you're in the earth plane here, in order for your body to be animated, the material flesh is animated with salts and minerals, salts and the minerals. So, when you consume salts and minerals. 
these minerals when they're in when they when they're in the, when they're in the perfect balance. They are also they are also good ones, which are not. These are the main ones, no. They also branch. They, this there also branches of these uh, metals, which you know something you know something like magnesium is good in the, for the body. Uh, magnesium is also good for the body. So these these are just the main ones. So you can get all these others from here. So in order for you, for you to your body to move, uh, the muscles they operate on in salts. Our bodies are are electric, and salt is a good conductor of electricity. That's why um, you need to consume salts and minerals. And the best source for these things are, is the green, the green, the green, the green stuff in the body, in the green stuff on this realm. When you consume green. No plants. Plants. The plant is the most electric thing in the in the in, on this realm. Electricity. No chlorophyll. No chlorophyll. Chloro. This is where you get, this is where you get your source of salts. That's why when when you say like when you see a um, a cadaver or a dead body, when it is electrocuted, the the muscle will start twitching. You know, uh, the electricity electricity uh, requires salts, and these salts, this electricity which you need, we are talking about the good electricity is negative ions. Negative ion electricity, and um. That's why also when you're cooking a frog, uh, when you place, when you cut the limbs and you put some salt on the limbs, they'll start moving. And our bodies right now are missing so many salts and minerals. You know, we are missing so much. So that's why activities such as uh, grounding or bare feet, grounding or Barefoot, barefoot, it's good, it's okay, these are good activities, yeah, so, um, because when you're grounding, you're, you're grounding your, your, your feet to the earth, you're allowing the, you're allowing the charges to go in and out, so that you are, you have a balance, your bal so that you can get balance, you know. So you have seen videos about grounding and uh, just uh, salts and minerals and the, the best source for these salts and minerals I've told you is the green. Also groundwater, groundwater, groundwater or primary water or primary water. This, this is the best source. This is the best source for salts and minerals. So I'm um, saying this because, you know, this system, it keeps on changing. Because uh, there was a time Saturn was our sun, and now it's the sun. So something something must have happened in order for, for the sun to come and take dominion right now. So right now, the whole celestial mechanics is it's balancing, you know. This is what they call global warming. They are calling, and there will be changes on Earth. You know, this is why we have books such as Revelation. They are foreshadowing this system coming back to balance, because right now the system is out of balance. It's like it's trying to stabilize itself. Uh, these ripples they want to form back to a standing wave. So I don't know which will be the ruling body then. And um, this is why the Hopi prophecy is talking about the, the black sun or the blue kachina. So we have the red kachina and the blue kachina. So this, this luminaries, they are, they are dark bodies in the sky we cannot see. The, the ones which sun is called black hole. The ones which absorb light, you know. And uh, they work in combinations. Like right now, we have the sun and Saturn, and there's it can be the sun and the moon. The sun gives out light, 
of warm light, the moon gives out cold light. The sun gives out, and the Saturn is the black hole, which is which is which is taking everything, you know. And the ancients used to record this in stories. That's why here are the stories of Jesus, Jesus the Son, and Odin, who is Saturn. And uh, absolutely, this Christmas tree is the tree Yggdrasil. No, they say Yggdrasil. I don't know if I'll nail the spelling. Yg, d -d -d I don't know if it's double D or something. This is the tree, the Yggdrasil. You know? Mm, if I can draw it, it looks like something like this. You know, like this. And then it's like a funnel, you know? It goes down like this. So it has branches here and branches here. So this is the tree Yggdrasil, which looks like you know the model of the DNA. You see, this is the DNA. So these changes which are coming or which are occurring when you are when you are living righteously, they also affect your DNA. It is as within, so without. So those who will not be prepared when the changes arrive, when there there is an, another ruling body, it's when it's all, it's all, it's, uh, so they say those guys who won't be prepared. You know, so. If you are if you're not living in your true self try and mend it uh, step away from Egypt and go back to Canaan and uh, that's why Moses was taking Israelites from Egypt to Canaan Egypt to Canaan Egypt to Canaan so Moses is Moses is osmosis, osmosis. Osmosis is when a, partic a particle is moving from a lower concentration, lower concentration, to, I mean, what from higher, from higher to lower concentration. From higher to lower concentration. So this is the movement. Moses osmosis. Move me. You must move. You must let go of your baggage for you to ascend. So yeah, man. I think uh, that's what I wanted to cover. So these changes which are coming. So they call the the black hole sun. You know, in our earth there is a sun here. This thing, this system. There are spheres within spheres. Spheres within spheres. Mm -hmm. This black hole sun shines like that, and then like that. And so you get our sun and moon here. So this, they, they change. This, this configuration changes. And when it change, changes your DNA. Sometimes when, you, when it changes with your DNA, it's, all, it's when it's all called an, uh, the, the lifting of the veil. Apocalypse. Apocalypse means the lifting of the veil. Lifting of the veil, the bride. You know when you in, when they say the bride of Christ. Mm -hmm. When you're in a wedding, you're wedding your wife. You must lift the veil in order for you to kiss her. And when you're lifting the veil, she will see clearly. The church, the church of Christ, will see clearly. So when these changes are occurring, it's when apocalypse is happening, and some of these these are marked during eclipses. You know when during during an eclipse. You'll see the sun here, and then it is blocked by something, and then something comes comes and, and starts blocking it, and then it blocks it fully, and then it starts leaving. Something just comes and leaves. It's a dark body. These dark bodies. So when celestial mechanics happen, and when you see this thing, when the sun is partially blocked, you know this is the Vesica Pisces. And there is a, an eclipse. It's when the veil is lifting. Mm? Your body is undergoing changes. So these changes during the eclipse, you can see this one looks like when the, the you know the tomb of Jesus. The tomb of Jesus when the stone was rolling away. The stone was rolling away. The stone rolled and then it left. It left a hole. So this when the Jesus was being was uh, was resurrected. And the, the stone rolled away. 
it's like a eclipse when some a dark body comes blocks the sun and then it goes away so i got this from brother sanchez um, from youtube so during an eclipse it's when uh, an apocalypse is happening it's like telling you it is time to to change so that these changes are happening in the heavens they are affecting us within it's like a lens is being removed you know when you're going to an optician and you're going uh, you go to the refractive the refractive room they will exchange this lens these discs they put they remove this one they put another one and then he asks you can you read what is can you see properly uh, saying no and then they remove another disc and they put another one the same thing so is what is happening during an eclipse during these changes in the sky some some of them you can see them others you cannot but uh, we were born to see them you know when the veil uh, when the when the veil continues to lift the apocalypse the revelation reveal revelation is just revealing revealing you know reveal mm? we must be prepared for for these changes and those who won't change unfortunately they won't be they won't experience the higher version of the game when the blue kachina the black star returns you know when the black star returns also these changes they happen in our minds like in the brain we have let's see we draw a brain like this we have this this frontal cortex here the cerebrum And then we have the the lower part here, which is the cerebellum. So, the cerebrum. I've told you the head. The head is the ram, the Aries, and and then we go to Taurus. Taurus is the bull. So, this changes. We have the cerebrum and the cerebellum. No, the bull. This is the lower part of the the brain. Cere bull. You can say you can it like bull. Cere bull lamb. Not the bull, the the cow, and then the cerebrum. We have the ram. So this is the area for creativity because we are creators. And uh, when you access this area, you should be thinking creatively because we are humans. Not right now, we are in duality. But before, humans are creators. Should be thinking through the cerebrum, the creative part, not the cerebr. This is for fight or flight, survival instincts. This is for creativity. You no, know? we should be thinking here. Yeah. So when this when this star returns, the the dark, the black star, the black hole sun of the blue kachina, which activates our DNA. Uh, it better find you when you when you are righteous, when you are true, and you are living in righteousness. You will be living, you will be thinking through the cerebrum. You will be a creator. You will find a solution, whether it is financial, whether the the there will be financial catastrophes, whatever cyber attacks, whatever, whatever all those nonsense which is, which is being plotted by the, uh, this this uh, satanist. You'll 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 have find a way somehow. You'll just you'll have found a way to survive, or then to thrive. Not only survive to thrive, but those who will not be ready, they'll be thinking in the bull, the fight or flight. That's why the Bible it has two segments: the old, the Old Testament, and the New Testament. The Old Testament, you know, the, where God was bringing calamities, plagues, you know, plagues. Mm -hmm. Bible, Bible. It's like a Bible, Bible. This thing. It can give you fear. It can get, it can get you in fear. This Old Testament, or it can give you hope. So the Old Testament, the the, the ruling body was was Satan. And in the New Testament, the ruling body was the Son. That's why on the Saturn was merciless, plagues, fear, sacrifice, blood sacrifice, mm -hmm. blood sacrifice. 
but here there is hope it is jesus you know so when these changes arrive uh when you are true to yourself you just have a, you will have created a, we have cre- we will have created a new world that's why there was saturn ruled for uh, the short period and then it was the millennial reign of christ these are just changes which are coming in the realm and you better be, pre- be prepared so um something else i've noted uh, for guys who will be living in the survival mode this the said the cerebulum uh, they will be given an option this, this is what they say in the end times people will be given an option you know and this option to survive in order to survive the coming or uh, those things which will affect those people those people who won't be in the church mm, they will be offered like uh, like tra- you know transhumanism transhumanism they will be offered this option to survive the coming changes so it will involve uh ma- changing your dna mechanically you know dna manipulation no changing dna you know those changes eventually those guys will look like you know i was thinking of like a creature that's those creatures in avatar those guys they look like something like this mm-hmm. those guys who, who will go for that option or some I'm thinking of this creature those guys who will undergo all these steps of transhumanism those guys will be hiding in bunkers Oh, billionaires are building bunkers and hiding in bunkers they will avoid these changes because they, they they have chosen they have chosen not to to be true to themselves to through the heart so they are they are changing their bodies mechanically uh and they are they want to drag people to be in the flight or fright mode that's why the news the news is always pumping fear fear news you know so those guys will be given this option to go for their transhumanist whatever and uh, eventually they will be they will look like this creature i was thinking of this creature mm. so this manipulation this manipulation of of the corruption of flesh corruption of flesh there will, there will be an option for those people So anyway, uh, that's just what I wanted to say, but uh the best way out uh is to be true to yourself, live through the heart. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed uh, my short syncretism of 7 days of the week. And uh have a good one. Have a nice day, a nice evening, a nice week. till the next time oh yeah that's why uh, I, was, i was watching a movie there was a movie called the titan the titan they were they were changing humans they were changing it was five humans you know they were changing humans to look like this creature because they were saying oh earth won't be survivable you know all those stuff about space travel is fantasy but those changes will be happening here on earth So they were changing five humans to look like something like this so that they can survive on on one of Saturn's moon Saturn's moon called Titan you know so these changes will, will be happening here so five number five you know number five in Roman numerals is V you no know? so yeah so and V is uh, is for duality you know when you put it in a mirror it's for this one and this one they look the same and that's why that rocket which was the first rocket to the moon allegedly it was called saturn 5 saturn 5 you know 5g 5g you know it is it's all those things sputnik 5 that that, that thing sputnik 5 
Now these, these guys, they are masons. They want to rebuild masons. They want to rebuild, you know. Rebuild. They want to rebuild, like, terraforming. They want to terraform this realm so that uh, these creatures can survive. And uh, so that when souls are, you know, the, these masons, they build along the ley lines. Ley lines. Some structures are, are built strategically to follow the constellations. As I showed you this projector. This, are, this, are, this is the firmament above, this, this, which has the stars. So when you match these patterns from the stars, when you match them here on Earth, you can get a, a constellation here. That's why buildings were, the old buildings were built on nodes, ley lines on the Earth realm. So that when a soil is dropping here through the moon, it is this, these towers, these towers, these pillars, they could attract a soul, you know. We are co-creating this reality, like I've told you. So when you want, when things are tough, and as humans we want a savior, we will attract savior souls to this realm, you know. The children who will, be, will start being born, they will come here to, to show us the way. But uh, these guys uh, who are sinister, they have they have changed the they are they are terraforming this place to attract such souls, you know. So that's why we want like corruption, crime. Basically, they want this this place to be like Hunger Games. You remember that Hunger Games the movie. So instead of this place being a paradise like the garden, the garden of Eden, which is basically Eden, it is end, the end garden, you know, of which instead of this place being a paradise, which the garden of the of Eden is in the North Pole here, yeah. because the main tree, the Yggdrasil, the main tree at the center is the North Pole. Which is connecting all the other trees strategically on the ley lines. So you know these masons, they were cutting down the trees, cutting down the trees. Uh, we are also cutting down the trees which are remaining. You know the, what we call mountains. They were they were houses. They were big towers, which were helping souls to descend here. I got that from Brother Sanchez. Also, you know how Dubai? Dubai was a desert. Dubai. Or the UAE. The UAE was a desert. It was barren. Desert. But after building the Burj Khalifa, mm -hmm. population doubled. You know, the, it, it quadrupled. The Burj Khalifa is like a tower. It's like a very big tower. The Babel Tower. These towers, they, they help souls to come here. But now these guys they want to to attract such kind of souls, so that this place can be a place for hunger games. There will be hunts, hunting human hunting. Mm -hmm. There will be purges, a purge. You know, like you know. they want this place to be like a purge. They want to corrupt their uh, our spirituality. They want to corrupt our spirituality. They, you know, our spirituality was our soul was dropping here. To experience here and then when you when you go you're letting go when you ascend you're letting go of the baggage so that you you go up the elevator in the north pole and when you reach the north pole that's why in the egyptian mythology they were showing your skills your life was being balanced on a scale your life some, some your life is here your soul is here and here is a feather so and and, and guys will come bringing a feather and because you're saying, ah, me, I'm light as a feather, so that you ascend, you ascend here. Also, the vision of Isaiah, Prophet Isaiah, when, he was, when an angel was taking him through the firmaments. Hmm? During, in this, in this, in this lower realms, the angels were, they were not in harmony. But when, when you reach the throne, yeah, the angels were singing. Because this is when it is you and your ego. 
you and your ego, you are in harmony. You have let go of your ego. Over here, over here you don't need your ego. You have let go of your ego. And, this, and the angels, the stars are rejoicing in the throne of God. It is you, you have reached here, you are in harmony. You have let go of every, every baggage. You have let it, left it here. And you are in harmony here, you are celebrating. Mm. So now the system, the, the system the Masons are bringing, these Masons, they, they want uh, such creatures here so that they can do the Hunger Games. So instead of uh, the beauty and the beast, you know this, 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 this thing, hmm? the moon is the beauty, Saturn is the beast, the computer. The moon I told you is the beauty of the whole, which is bringing souls here, Isis. Hell is the beast. This beast. Hmm? This beast is not like a bad thing, you know. But the, now these guys, they want to. They have, inv they have changed this pyramid into an actual pyramid. A materialistic pyramid. Now what you are doing here on earth. Instead of us working on our ascension program. We are working to follow this pyramid. Hmm? We are working to ascend this pyramid. Corporate ladder. Mm -hmm. Cool. We are working. We are looking for money to ascend here, so that you go to this eye, this all-seeing eye. Mm -hmm. So that you can you can become you can meet the the queen. So we are working like worker bees. Worker bees. So that we meet the queen, the queen, the queen, the queen of the hive. So that's why many people are suggesting like our system was, our spiritual system, our spiritual system was hacked. So instead, instead of us living righteously in order for us to ascend, to access our higher versions, our system has been hacked. Our system has been hacked. Now we are looking for money so that we go up a pyramid to meet the queen of the hive. This hive is called the parasite. Parasite. No. And so this is not our system. This was not our system. This was this and our system was. Our spiritual system was like this. Yeah, so I think I've covered uh, most of what I wanted to say. And um, we should learn to try and work together. Uh, try and work together so that even if you're going up this uh, place, this ladder, corporate ladder, you'll you need some help. This corporate ladder, it only knows you as a number. No, because you are given a number to look for money. So the system, the beast system, this this man-made beast system, it is it is monitoring your output. How much how much are you bringing into the table? And if you're not bringing enough, you're terminated. You're terminated. So this it's a it's an inverted spiritual system, you know, because I've shown you what you used to follow. So, but this system, this other system, this other system, God knows you by, God knows you by name. But in this other system, mm, this other system, the devil knows you by number. You're like a computer program uh, working to mine, to mine, like the Nephilim. You know the Nephilim? The Nephilim came here to mine, and they were, it's like a, a wage, a worker. So we are just mining, like mining crypto, you know. We are miners, we have been converted into miners in this system. All you know, it, all you think of doing is looking for money. So even if you are, you, are, you are going up this ladder, just remember you need help. You needed help. You needed help to, to come to this realm. Because your parents conceived you to be born 
and also you need help to be buried so that you go back so don't forget that you needed help so let's be let's try and be good to each other okay i think that is all